Hello Aquarius, this is Debs and this is your reading for July 2021. Aquarius, lovely energy coming through for you guys. Um, maybe quite emotional, I've just come out of meditation. Um, Michael's showed me an image of someone drawing a circle, but stopping before it was completed. And then the same person coming back to the same desk, the same piece of paper, four years later and completing that loop, completing the circle. So it's whole. What I feel here is Aquarius, there's going to be a rather surprising development where you are either going to be admitting to someone that a cycle for you never ended. I'm hearing I never stop loving you. I was always there for you. The other person is going to be reeling with shock because I feel that the other person has, with I'm hearing sadness and regret, moved on. Never forgot that person, but moved on. Little did they know that the, per the other person was in the middle of a big transition, a life change, but always planned, thank you, Michael, on returning back and completing the cycle with them. Michael's showing me the tower card. So Aquarius, those of you that I'm connecting with will immediately know what this is all about. Those of you sitting in absolute, you know, confusion. I have no idea what she's talking about. You may find as we move through the reading that this makes sense. Otherwise, maybe another reading may be for you. So let's delve in and see what comes through. Okay, guys, as always, using my crystal quartz to help me connect through with Archangel Michael and the Divine. The deck is the Gilded Tarot by Ciro Marchetti. I keep seeing this man come back and you know it's been a while because symbolically the image that I saw was of a young man who was drawing the circle and then stopped just before it was completed. The vision I then got was of an older man, obviously older in their appearance, completing the cycle. Fascinating. All right, guys, hope you're with me. All right, Archangel Michael, may we have your guidance, please, your advice for my Aquarians. This is for July 2021. What is this all about, please, Michael? And who do we have with us joining us in this reading? Thank you. Archangel Uriel, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Sandalphon. Thank you, Michael. Wow, I'm hearing a, a really sweet childhood phrase. A circle is round and has no end, and that's how long you'll be my friend. I don't know why, but that's coming through. May be relevant for someone. Okay, I'm hearing head up, stop and look around you. Head up, stop and look around you. There's someone that wants your attention, Aquarius, or vice versa. I'm hearing it was you, it was always you, there was never anyone else. Oh my goodness, Aquarius. I'm hearing, I want to tell you, I want to tell you everything now. I want to, I want to, somebody's stuttering, somebody's very stressed. There may be a big revealing of truth. Wow, guys. Wow, yes. Yes. Okay. I'm hearing I'm a different person now. I'm a different person now. I've changed. Wow, Aquarius. Whew, okay. Aquarius, someone, someone's definitely returning. I feel to you. You may not necessarily want to be open to this person. There could have been, I'm hearing a lot of water that went under the bridge. Oh my goodness, Aquarius. Whew, okay. I have to say a similar feeling, vibe, 
the energy is similar to the Scorpio reading, possibly also the Gemini reading. Yes, I'm hearing I've changed. I've changed. Somebody's worked, I'm hearing, tirelessly to bring balance to their life. It could have been, I'm hearing, very challenging. They couldn't, I'm hearing, change direction until the issue was sorted out. Wow. Under the deck, Empress in the reverse. Taurus Libra energy. This is a woman who is not feeding a connection. This is a woman who is very emotionally up and down. This is someone who has lack of self-esteem. She can be codependent. Four of Pentacles. Somebody was hanging on to a connection. Maybe for codependent reasons. And there's a sense of... I've now let it go. I've let it go. Hi, Priestess. Pisces energy. Someone feeling very strongly connected in the fifth dimension to somebody else. Wow, guys, two of cups. Somebody never let somebody else go, but never had the confidence to reach out again because they felt it was over and done with. I don't think it ever was over and done with, Aquarius. I think it was simply a matter of time for somebody to work out in their mind how they were going to, I'm hearing, extricate themselves. I'm seeing somebody fighting in quicksand, extricate themselves from a situation that they felt trapped in. Okay, guys. Wow. So let's delve in. We start with the five of cups in the reverse. Yeah, Aquarius, I feel you may be feeling more optimistic about a situation that maybe you've been hanging on to. I'm hearing for four years. Inside, not saying anything to anyone, not speaking your mind. You're feeling more optimistic because... You've managed to move away from a very difficult situation. It could have been literally shadow energy, negative patterns of behavior, addictions affecting your life. You could have felt a little bit more positive in recent, I'm hearing, months because you may have moved away from a Capricorn. And it cappies out there. If you're listening, I don't mean anything by that. This is obviously a very specific situation, okay? I do feel that somebody has released something that was holding them down, holding them back. And it's taken them a long time. Not only I'm hearing to make that decision, but to actually push, push the situation forward to detach. Michael's showing me a ship in a harbour that is being launched, launched. I'm seeing someone cut a ribbon. Somebody is off. Somebody is moving. Somebody is launched into a new life. I'm hearing setting sail for pastures new. Wow. In the past, seven of wands in the reverse, somebody had to accept defeat in a situation that I'm hearing was incredibly traumatic. There was, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a man trying to find a door in a completely pitch black room. I mean, feeling his way around the edges of this room, trying to find the door, finding the door, realizing it was locked. No, I mean, literally no way out. There was no way out of whatever the situation was. After that time, whoever this person was moved into the energy of the moon. Secrets were held. There was a lot of fear. There could have been a Cancerian. 
in the mix who I'm hearing was locked in darkness. Oh my goodness. Maybe mental health, maybe depression. Locked in darkness. Or Aquarius, you may have been holding a secret that you didn't want to come out. But whatever the secret was, it was toxic for you. And I feel now that's been released. It's just been released. And I'm, I'm getting a sense of relief and I'm getting a sense of freedom. In your mind is, I'm hearing, moving to pastures new. Eight of cups. Moving forward, taking charge of your life. Staff in hand. This person is wearing their finest clothes. This is somebody who is, I'm hearing now, very confident. There could be something here to do with moon cycles. If you notice, we have two moons here. This person could also be very much affected by the moon. I'm also hearing someone that was causing problems. Could have done something toxic. Either, either a Cancerian, a Capricorn, or this is someone who did something by the light of the moon, basically in shadow, hoping the other person wouldn't find out. But there's a sense of leaving the past behind, feeling much more optimistic and looking to the future. Michael, when is the Two of Swords coming into the immediate future for my Aquarians, please? Thank you. 14th of August to the end of September. 14th of August, no, to the 28th of September. Thank you, Michael. Aquarius, you're signing the Two of Swords. It's almost as if you don't want to accept that you're free. The energy I'm feeling is very complicated. You know what it's like? It's almost as if... The energy I'm getting is of maybe, and I hope, I'm sorry guys if this is emotional for you, but you know what it's like when you see programs of, you know, animals that have been kept in captivity for so long that when the door finally swings open and they see this freedom in front of them, this expanse of, oh my goodness, I can do anything, I can, you know, I can now move freely, no more restriction, the chains are cut. It's a sense of, oh my goodness, now I'm really scared. Because I really am, I really am on my own here. I've got all this wide world in front of me and I don't know how to deal with it. It's very interesting. Usually it takes a few hours, maybe even some days, for that animal to realise that they can walk through that door. They're no longer restricted, they're no longer held captive, they're free. But until they actually come to get used to the idea that they are really free, they tend to cower at the back of the cage. I mean, what happens if I try to step through that door? Am I, is it going to be slammed in my face and locked again? I don't want to be hurt in this. You know, it's a sense of an animal being given freedom and not quite believing that it's true. That's the energy I feel with the Two of Swords for you, Aquarius. I don't really want to see that I can now feel again. I can access my emotions again. Basically, I don't have to keep wearing, I'm hearing, a false mask. I can take the mask off. I don't know if I'm ready to do that. I know I can now because I'm free. I know that I've handled whatever this is, this shadow energy, this restrictive situation that held me back. I've released the fear in whatever the secret was. Maybe the secret's come out. But uh, I, I'm a bit nervous about embracing this sense of freedom. I just don't want to see it. I can't see it. I'm still not comfortable. So for one of you, this is going to be blatantly obvious, whatever this is. It could be about anything to do with life. It could be a state of mind. It could be a job. It could be a family situation. It could be a marriage. It could be a partnership of some kind. But there's a sense of I am finally feeling as if the door is open and I don't quite know what to do with it. How do I deal with this newfound sense of freedom? I, I just don't know. 
I feel whatever this is, is divinely guided because with the judgment card right next to you, it's almost as if the divine is protecting you from, I'm hearing oncoming visitors, people coming in again, people coming back round again. They're protecting you for a reason, Aquarius, because they know you're not quite ready for that. I'm actually seeing a brick wall. Uh, uh, psychically, I'm seeing a brick wall here. The divine is prote is, is protecting you. Behind the, the brick wall, I'm actually seeing people fighting amongst each other. You're being protected now, Aquarius. Whatever that means for you. No more stress, no more tension, no more arguments, no more burdens, no more anxiety. You're free. The divine is protecting you whilst you get comfortable with this newfound sense of freedom. You're okay. We've got your back. You don't have to worry. They're not going to touch you again. They're not going to hurt you again. We're with you. Wow, guys. Very intense. There may be somebody in your environment who is coming back. But if this is someone in particular, Aquarius, that you're very nervous about opening up to, they're being divinely guided to give you time. Time to open up, time to reconnect, time to, I'm hearing, complete that cycle. They're giving you time. They may intuitively know that you are not quite ready, even though they may know what you have managed to release yourself from. They know. This is someone who could be quite spiritual, even religious. This is someone who could be very strongly connected to the divine. This could be a member of your family. This could be a dear friend. This could be a lover. But somebody is now understanding that you can make your own judgment call for your life without anyone I'm hearing stopping you. I'm seeing a, a, a newborn chick just stepping out of the shell of an egg it's hatched from. And then kind of fluffing out its wings a bit and then stepping back into the shell. I'm not quite comfortable with this yet. Oh my goodness, you know, big wide world out there. I need to keep myself just feeling safe for now, even though the shell is broken, even though fresh air is coming in. They've actually broken free. I'm just going to stay where I am for now. Similar analogy to that animal in that cage with a door swung wide open, but stays kind of carrying at the back of the cage. I'm not comfortable with this yet. Very powerful energy for you, Aquarius. I'm definitely connecting with someone here who has been through the mill. I mean, this could even be cold turkey, okay? If somebody's trying to get out of addictions, this could be... I know that I'm clean, but I don't trust myself to step out of this institution, this protection. I, I'm just not ready. What you're fearing with the two of pentacles in the reverse is making the wrong decision. Because this is trying to make a decision. Weighing up the pros and cons, this is making a decision. For me, other readers may disagree. There's no one way of reading cards, by the way, guys. I know some of you comment with other readers' readings and say, oh, that's, that card doesn't mean that. It's completely irrelevant because each reader reads cards differently and the divine puts the cards on the table knowing how each reader reads those cards, just so that you're aware of that, okay? Most of the readers on YouTube are intuitive in any case. But with the two of pentacles in the reverse in your fears, you're fearing making an actual decision because we're talking about making a practical decision. I mean, this is a real decision, a decision to actually relocate, to move, a decision to get on a ship that's just about to dock, a decision that is real, not in the head. This is fearing actually taking action. In your hopes, Aquarius, hoping with the Nine of Wands that you're not still going to feel burdened. Even though maybe on a practical basis, restrictions have been lifted, you've come out of a toxic situation, basically you are free to come and go and to live your life the way you want to live it. This is you hoping to maybe not be weighed down by guilt, maybe, 
not feeling weighed down by the pressure that other people in the future may put on you. Maybe making you feel bad for the decision that you've made, but it was the right decision for you. You had to get out of this situation. This is you hoping to allow yourself to breathe fresh air and not to feel guilty for doing so. The final card Aquarius is really beautiful, four of wands. Now this could be you setting up your own little home after breaking free of a situation at peace. I'm hearing no one getting at you, no one calling you, no one emailing you, no one controlling you, Aquarius. You are your own person at this point. This could be you finally, after maybe several years, allowing yourself to breathe again, to relax again, not to feel strung up and stressed that you haven't done something correctly. You need to do this and you haven't done it. I'm hearing, why did you do that then? What does this mean? I don't understand why you weren't available when I rang you at six o'clock. Where the hell were you? What were you doing? Who did you meet? Or well, who the hell are they? Where did you meet them? Well, why did you have to go? I'm hearing all these questions. Now, Aquarius, you get the picture. You could have been in a very, very controlling relationship where somebody belittled you, made you feel unappreciated, not good enough, to the point where you couldn't breathe. Restriction control, bullying almost. You got out of it, whatever this was. This could have been a horrendous job with a nightmare boss, okay? Who was just on your case 24 seven to the point where you couldn't sleep properly. This could have been a parent that was cajoling you. You have to do this. You have to follow this career. You have to make this amount of money because that's what your father did in our day, right? old-fashioned restrictive patterns of conditioning this could have been a marriage but you got out of this and in a strange way with the four of wands i don't actually feel that this is you pushing for a connection to get up and running well, now, now I've got to this phase, fantastic. I can then be with this person. I can be running my own business. I can be, you know, moving forward and getting my, myself sorted out with another business, with a new job. No, I think this is rest and recuperation. I think this is you feeling the ground beneath your feet, feeling stable, feeling protected maybe pulling two or three close friends around you and that's it before you move forward to be with somebody else you're needing to recuperate as an animal when they come out of captivity needs to recuperate they're not used to the sunshine they're not used to using their legs to run because their muscles have wasted in a cage i'm sorry guys if this is emotional but I'm feeling that I'm dealing with somebody here who went through a lot of trauma and was bashed down emotionally, psychologically, time and time and time and time again. To the point where this person was pretty broken, pretty broken. Unable to show affection naturally, unable to speak their own truth, unable to give their opinion through fear of ridicule and I think finally this person, this person has found their voice. And Aquarius, this is you. You found your voice. You are no longer shy about getting on your soapbox and telling everyone that you are taking a different path. There's no one to pull you back. There's no one to stop you. You are free to do as you choose. This is what you've been dealing with. With the Five of Swords, you couldn't fight for what you wanted. You may also have been caught up in very negative patterns of behaviour. Maybe ruthlessly trying to get what you wanted to get because that was your only outlet. You put that in the past. With the Fool in the Reverse, 
you couldn't break free. You had no sense of excitement. There was nothing that you could feel that you were looking forward to. Your life was just like a flat line, Aquarius. No joy, nothing to feel excited about. I'm hearing, why am I even here? This could have been someone close to doing something really silly, right? You know what I mean? Why am I even here? What's the point of my life? With the Queen of Cups in the reverse, you could have been in a situation where there may be a marriage that you were in. There was no love. This person pulled their love back, wasn't bothered with you, didn't really think about the effect that the situation was having on you. Or you had to leave behind someone who was loving and nurturing because you had no choice. With the energy of justice, I think this is you finally breaking free. You could have had to go through some kind of court case. I'm actually hearing potentially relating to emotional blackmail and abuse. So there could even have been something here where you were dealing with a very unbalanced individual Aquarius male or female, who actually abused you. Now, this could also be a very tyrannical boss. This could be somebody who, I don't know, um, controlled you. This could have been a marriage. Whatever this was, I think you got justice, finally, and you're free. You're free. This is what I feel the divine is wanting you to know. Whoever the empress is, controlling mother, controlling boss, okay, wife, who didn't put any energy into a connection but expected everything handed to them. And I'm sorry, guys, if this is making you feel uncomfortable. Four of Pentacles, you hung on to this even though your back was turned because I think you were protecting your finances. Again, if this is a job, you couldn't leave because you needed that job. If this was a marriage, maybe other people weren't involved. And you may have been the main provider. But with the High Priestess, you connected with your intuition. And with the Two of Cups, there is someone that you may be returning to. I'm hearing when you finally healed, who you know will bring you peace and happiness to your life. This is you knowing that the right person is out there for you, Aquarius. And they are not going to be controlling and demanding and take away your peace. This is basically finding yourself again, Aquarius. Maybe for the first time in your life, finally figuring out who you are and what you want. With no one telling you that you can't move forward in that direction. You can't be who you really are. Challenging reading, guys. So forgive me if this isn't all light and butterflies and rainbows, but somebody needs to hear this because somebody is sitting in a place of, I know that I'm free, but I just can't accept that I am. Yes, you are, Aquarius. You are totally free. To be who you are, to go where you want, you're free. You just need to accept it and give yourself time to get used to that feeling. I'm hearing without somebody watching you and telling you what to do. Okay. We're delving in. Archangel Michael, what is the Five of Cups in the reverse crossed with the Devil in the reverse? Wow. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Yep. Yeah. Coming out of confusion, clarity. I'm hearing the only thing I know that I had to do, I had to face, was to break free, cut free, cut free, move on. You could have moved away from the Cancerian. You could literally have traveled to move, relocated. The Hermit in reverse, Virgo in the reverse. Maybe you left a Virgo, but the Hermit in the reverse is you coming out of feeling alone, by yourself, disconnected from other people. No one for you to lean on, not supported. Yeah. Michael, what is the Eight of Cups in Aquarius' thoughts? I feel as if you... Lots of energy in these cards, guys. I feel as if you have come to the realisation that you are free, but I feel as if you're still trying to get used to it. 
you've definitely put the past in the past. I'm hearing there are things that you did that you don't feel proud of, but you're leaving them behind, head held high. Six of Pentacles. You could have had to have given money to someone, a family, a group of people in order to break free. Okay. Death. You've ended a situation. You possibly may have needed to give, them, give money to a Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. You may have had to give even your savings. But you've put the past to rest. You put the past to rest. Six of Wands in the reverse. Yep. Yeah. You had to release any ego. You had to admit, mask falling off, that you couldn't do this anymore. You may have felt as if you fell off the pedestal. Maybe other people put you on, but I'm hearing it had to be done. Had to be done. I had to speak up on my own behalf. Michael, what is the Two of Swords in the immediate future? This is you knowing, Aquarius, that you're free, but there's a sense of, I can't quite believe it. I can't quite believe it. I still feel as if I haven't got my freedom. It's very strange energy, Aquarius. Oh my goodness. Cars are flying. Still feeling stuck, I'm hearing. Just getting used to a situation. Not feeling ready to make a move, Aquarius. Just not quite ready yet. Not, not ready yet. I'm hearing, I just can't do this yet. Okay. No one's pushing you. No one's pressuring you. You don't have to make a move if you don't want to. I feel as if I'm almost counselling a child or somebody who is battling childhood issues. Yeah, you need you need your your time, Aquarius. You just need to get back to you again. Two of Swords, I don't want to see that I'm free. I can't believe it. I don't want to access my emotions yet because I'm not strong enough to do it. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you feel you just can't build anything right now. It's like you're just coming to terms with the new you, your new situation. Okay, yeah, still feeling a bit stuck. You're not, but this is just your state of mind because I feel that whatever you've been in, Aquarius, has lasted a long time. It will take another few months for you to, to actually feel comfortable in moving forward. Again, yeah, Eight of Swords It's what I've channeled through. Feeling a bit fearful, uh, uh, stuck in your head. I don't quite know what to do from here or point on. Ten of Cups in reverse, okay, so you could have ended a relationship, you could have lost a job, okay, lost some kind of stability. You're still getting back on your feet, the star, your lovely Aquarian energy, you're healing, you're balancing the masculine and the feminine within you. For someone, this is very relevant. This could even be someone who was struggling, and I'm going to say it because for one of you, it's relevant, struggling with their gender preference. OK, maybe somebody who lived a life of being a husband to a wife, but actually deep down knew that maybe they were bisexual. They weren't happy or they were gay and they couldn't admit it. There could be something to do with that here as well. For someone, that might be a separate message for someone out there. Coming to terms with their own sexuality after maybe several years of wearing a mask for other people, okay? People that were sitting in old-fashioned values, people that couldn't accept you speaking the truth, that's been toxic, brought you into a toxic energy. Maybe years, years of suppressing your natural desire that was not fulfilled, never fulfilled. Having to keep it all under wraps. So painful. What is judgment in the immediate future? There's someone here who is protecting you. Protecting you. Somebody here is on your side. Somebody here may know what you've been through. And this is someone who's going to help you, I'm hearing, manifest a new life for yourself. Now, this could be simply someone who's going to help you financially. It could be a very dear friend who you opened up to and expressed 
how you felt with and they've been a rock by your side this could li literally be a friend um this is someone who is going to help you i'm hearing transition forward help you they're there for you they have a lot of love for you whoever this is and this is someone who may also i'm hearing have been through what you went through this could even be a mentor someone you find inspiring And I'm, I'm hearing they're going to help you come out of yourself, finally. Come out of yourself. Out of feeling fearful of being you. Okay, they're going to try and help you with that. This is someone who is going to be there for you. I'm hearing no matter what. The Magician. Okay, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini. Energy. This is someone who is a powerful manifester. Or somebody that's going to help you manifest your new life, Aquarius. This could relate to helping you find another job, helping you get a loan, okay? Maybe they are actually giving you money to help you right now. Eight of Wands. This is someone who you're messaging. This is someone or who you will be messaging, talking to, opening up with, maybe bashing around a few ideas, brainstorming. Knight of Cups, someone very loving, somebody giving, somebody who is going to help you see, I'm hearing the lighter side of life, the lighter side of life, that you can have fun, you can express yourself, you can be loving. This is also someone who's going to show you that you don't need to stay stuck in one place. This is all about movement, travel, expression, self-expression. Ten of Swords in Reverse, whoever this is, Aquarius, has been through a similar situation as you have. They've understood what you've gone through because they've gone through it too. So if we're talking about counselling after abuse, this could be somebody who's gone through all that themselves and they've got you through it because they've been there themselves. They know how you feel. And that for you, if that's hitting home, has been really important. You know? It's like trying to be counselled as an alcoholic by somebody who's never drunk a drop of alcohol in their life. Well, it's not going to work, is it? No. Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody very stable, very grounded, very loving, very giving. Somebody who has their feet on the ground. Somebody who also has a very calm, relaxed nature to them. Because that's what you need, Aquarius. Just someone who will sit there and listen to you. Not expect you to take action in any way. Just there for you to listen, to, to listen to you. A sounding board is what I'm hearing. Michael, what is the Four of Wands? I feel this is you finally feeling as if you can be at peace within yourself. I feel you're going to come back out into society. You're going to be raising your level of confidence. Getting yourself back on track. Yes, healing, having some quiet time to yourself to heal and come to terms with what you've been through, and but also to come to terms with it so you can look very confidently to the future, Aquarius. I think you're going to be connecting with someone that you're going to feel very relaxed with, and you're going to decide to move down a fresh new path. This could be you starting a business, deciding to hell with it. My job was horrendous. I'm starting my own business. It could be you finally feeling as if you can go out and celebrate with friends, kick up the dust, enjoy the summer months as a new person, maybe in a new situation. Very exciting. Wanting to enjoy yourself, wanting to be open to express yourself. And just, I'm hearing, embrace the happiness of your new life. Embrace the happiness. I'm hearing the spark is lit. The spark is lit. It's going to take some time, but I feel that this is going to give you a whole new lease of life. A whole new lease of life. Wow, guys, what an amazing reading. I hope you're still with me. <laughs> okay, five of pentacles in the reverse, yeah. 
So improving your finances, coming out of feeling very disconnected from the world. Okay, rebuilding your strength. Four of Swords in the reverse. Yes, healing. You've healed or you will be healing. Picking up that sword, taking action. Yes, look at you, picking yourself up. Very confidently looking to the future, embracing change on the move. And the wheel moves forward. This is all meant to happen, Aquarius. This is destiny. Yes, again, another card of travelling. No longer standing at crossroads. You're actually moving down a brand new path. You could decide to relocate, start your own business. Money's going to be coming in for you, however that transpires with the Ten of Pentacles. With the Page of Cups, you may want to reconnect with somebody or you may be deciding to reconnect with a new group of people that you feel more aligned with. Celebration. Coming together, having fun. Oh my goodness, I'm feeling quite teary for you. Oh, Aquarius, the sun. Happiness, expansion, enlightenment. This is a calm energy. Imagine sitting under a palm tree with a margarita. That is the energy of the sun card. No laptop, no one telling you what to do. Peace and quiet. Again, spark is lit. Ace of wands. Now, for some of you, you could be moving towards a younger water sign. Could be a Pisces or somebody who is a Leo. We have Libra here too. Sagittarius. Treading water. The angels are helping you heal Aquarius. And you may well be starting a brand new business or a brand new relationship with someone that is going to help you heal from what you've been through. So, guys, very intense reading. Thank you for bearing with me. For one of you, this possibly has hit home very, very strongly and you may be sitting there in tears, right? I had to hold myself together a bit during this reading. But I feel that the divine is telling that particular person out there that you can do this. You can move forward. I feel you've already made the decision too. I think you're kind of sitting there feeling a bit numb right now, realizing the enormity of what you've gone through. And the divine is going to help you heal, pick yourself up and look to a brand new future. And it's looking very, very exciting. Okay, so I'm leaving it there. Take care of you, sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye now.